everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich! In our last video of SteamWorld Dig 2, we cleared out the tube system so we can warp back to town. Now that Red Rock Passage is open, I can look for Rusty deeper down. Hey, that bot's still missing. Well, just don't forget to bring some of that valuable ore up with you now. It should be clearing my clear mining all the way down to the protective wall, dearie. I guess your pal could have slipped through one of them darn cracks in it. If I was you, I'd head down to Mason Station. There should be an old equipment machine down there that'll make your life a whole lot easier. You mean the one my idiot brother walled in last year while laying brick? But our nation, I bet you can find a way around the brick if you scout the place. Hey now, report any openings you find to me so I can have someone patch the wall up later on. Alright, it's all the way down there. Cool. Thank you, map. Find the world map, I probably know. Okay. There's riches just waiting to be found below those layers of brick and mortar. If you happen on some shiners, clip them before you end up in a wooden overcoat. From what I've heard, they're usually all gowed up on moon juice and looking to scrapsy. They can't get enough of that sludge, it makes them stronger, but also makes them all goofy. It's also highly corrosive, so you probably don't want to take a dip in it. Hmm, foreshadowing? Hello again, fellow small town bot. There's a lot of complaints going around about our poor mayor. Seems to me like he knows what he's talking about. After all, he was raised in the big city. He must be used to the pace of things here. It was... If I was to handle matters in such a crowded place, I'd be ground down like some used up gear. Oh, Splendid, you found six fascinating artifacts already. To show you my appreciation, I shall hand you a blueprint from my stack. Quarterverse. I will give you another blueprint if you can show me ten artifacts in total. Okay, ten, huh? So let's, uh, let's see if we can get some of these things working. What does core diversity do? Well, crisscross combustion. We'll, we'll set that up and see what that does. And then where's... Oh, core diversity is like all the way over here. A fluid polychromatic armor that provides a small chance of getting three rainbow orbs every time an enemy is defeated. Cool. We'll install that as well. So there you go. Oh wait, we've got we've got we've got tubes unlocked. Tubes. All right. Okay, so we got all this stuff. Oh, we didn't get all this stuff. Look at that. Another upgrade cog. Okay. Now just. You see, you see that, that giant blow up I get when I, yeah. So, hey, that's a thing, right? Yeah, vertical sandwich, it's a thing! Oh, right, these guys will hit you through a wall. I forgot about that. Alright, so we're getting extra explosions for uh, mining ore, which is a thing, I guess. Not a very important thing, really, when it comes right down to it. Get down here so we can rush this guy. There we go. Uh, come down here and get his friend. See, that you've got to be careful of. <laughs> that guy's set up to, uh, to destroy you. Pretty obvious what we have to do here. Alright, it's another secret area. Oh, yeah. Man, these are getting harder and harder to mine. We're gonna need a better pickaxe soon.
Okay, I do kind of like that, but this is going to make our way back up really hard. We have no room. That guy's going to murder himself. Okay, let's go turn this stuff off, because my planning all involves, you know, one s single thing. Like, one one space per mining the objective thing. Every I just need one space to be destroyed when I destroy spaces. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. So, I think we need a better lamp. Maybe a better... Oh, well, we need a better pickaxe. We have exactly enough money for it. Pickaxe Chew is the next one. So, this one uh, deals extra damage to resource tiles for two. We like that. Um, I like your gear. So, um, you could improve it by using cogs. Do you, uh, want to know how? Nah, you know what? No, I'm good, because, you know... Okay, well, uh, mm, yes, sorry. I'll be over here. I feel bad for doing that to him, but, I mean, this is a thing we've, we've been doing for a while, and it's a little late for a, a video game tutorial on it. When it. When it really comes down to brass tacks, that's what's going on here. It's not that I hate content. Everybody knows I don't hate content, but... I mean, man, you're you're really late in the game. Like, I've gotten... I mean, I know in a first-time playthrough, you would not have this many upgrade cogs at this point. Because, you know, I'm... Uh, because I can, you know... I'm very familiar with this game. I mean, I've played it several times. I've done multiple attempts at getting the speedrunning trophy for it. Which is true. I've never quite gotten it. And we'll t again, we'll talk about that. That just destroyed my blood drop from that guy. Oh, I'm so angry. Aw. Nice. I know, I'm missing the key. There we go. Alright, the cave in catacomb. Oh yeah, this place is kind of fun. So what I want you to do is that and then run. <laughs> Alright, cool. Now this one, there's nothing to fall on us. Just let it go. But then back here, this is kind of such a convoluted path. I think what you're expected to do is shoot a pressure bomb down, and then run. You can probably make it without the pressure bomb, but obviously there's something going on up here. There we go, we got the Spelunky Diary. And is that everything? Huh, I guess it is. Oh no, there actually there's an actual upgrade cog over here. If you know where all these are, you get overloaded with them for so fast where you can just spend them on anything you want. Um, but if you don't, I mean in a casual playthrough, it actually is pretty hard to keep up. But I did get uh I did get a trophy called Cave Diver. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever, I guess we're, we're losing that one. So you gotta watch, because this weaker soil will, you know, these... Rocks like that, like, that's gonna take out that ore. That guy's a jerk. And I know that they're all set up this way, like, to be problematic. Hmm. 
probably want to do this. Man, that guy was more trouble than he was worth. Now you can stand right on the edge and hit down and hit them. Uh, it's a viable strategy. There we go. Now this guy's gonna drop those two rocks, watch. Well, he dropped one of them, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Alright! So this is the cactus plantation. And you can see there's a door over there, and that's the door that takes us up to that area. Alright, let's sell our stuff. Let's see what we get. $52! It's not quite our best haul yet, but we have jumped some areas. I think we just go back down to the cactus plantation, but we need to make our way to the the right here. So we'll get these things exploding, we'll let them blow themselves up. They can do a little of our housekeeping for us, basically. Hmm. Huh. See how those crazy things I did all made sense? Alright, now, getting up here is a little tricky, I think. Oh, no, it's not. Alright, we got Schrodinger, Schrodinger's what? By the way, if we go into the options here, and we go, there's an artifact screen, and there's a description for each of these. So, Radis, a nor... Vigicus? Living so close to humans, you'd think they were cousins. Sporting an amazing learning capacity, one even got elected Prime Minister of Norway. If you are what you eat, then I only want to eat the good stuff. Dr. Groda's a children's book. Ah, good old Dr. Groda. Always with an instructional view on life's hardships. Forget your worries and enjoy good health. Okay, let's try this out. Frog! <laughs> nope. Forget your worries! I can't even do it. Hello! No, not even close. Okay, preserved banana peels. Someone actually preserved the peels. That's just bananas. Time flies like an arrow, and fruit flies like a banana. Amulet of... Okay, so it's Bale... Adali... Adali Dila? Adali Dila. Bale Adali Dila? Bale Adali Dila, okay. Obviously more potent, more potent than a lucky clover on a rabbit's foot. The eyes are glowing eerily and it's beginning to feel a bit warm. Is that a fake chanting emerging from its innard? sha la 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 Rocket Black Box. The nationwide network of rocket enthusiasts, essentially an organization of brainiac know-it-alls, will hopefully benefit from this data. Yes, wise guy, it's orange. <laughs> Ninja Cat action figure. Feel the franchise hype and join in the teenage meow taunt. Go Ninja Cat. Go Ninja Cat. Go. Set for an April release. Spelunky Diary. The Journal of Brianne C.G. Gearson, a deep drilling expert who ventured into the darkest corners of Archaea. It mentions a shortage of brave aspirants for extending the excavations into deeper territories. Although fully in illustrated with what must be finger paint, the tone of the log is somewhat melancholic and bitter. When you dig into an abyss, the abyss also digs into you. That's a nice uh, turn of that phrase. Schrodinger's what? Oh la la! Anything can be inside this neatly wrapped package. Maybe a doll, a football, or nothing but a shape and variation in the structure of space. What's in the box? Oh my god! What a quote! <laughs> like, he was. Calis, get out of here, California! John Doe has the upper hand. Oh man! Like, what's in the box? Alright, well, we come back. Uh, more of this.